Welcome back to Let's Play Thief. I'm burning dog face. We sure are learning a lot about the asylum. Where was the hydrotherapy? Strangely enough, I found myself considerably less scared when I found uh, a group of enemies that I had to fight. Treasure. I made it. I found it. The other man, the other me, he hid his caches in these vents, like a well-worn coat. The close walls are comforting in a way I have never felt before, and I feel so close to him that I can almost smell his scent. The treasure of his labors can't be far, and the clicking, beating heart of our combined desire must be closer yet. A small rest, and I will continue. I have come so close it can only be a matter of feet before the years join us in triumph. My lozenge wrapper says nothing you can't handle. And hey, I got through Alien, I can get through this. That's what that uh, fake intro was, by the way. A couple videos ago. Uh, alien Isolation. Check the other one. I guess this is just a run around that goes nowhere. Then how do I get out? There's the blood. Great, this is happening. I hate this. vibrates every once in a while, but not constantly. I find that really unsettling for some reason. Okay, yeah, this is where I thought it was. Just wanted to make sure of that. Is there another up? No. So 
I notice that the lock didn't work for the primary function of that note I found. The lock only prevents you from going down. I crawled down there, and was on that level, and used the call button to bring the elevator down and then came up. Which means if I was a patient who was already on that level... to follow the creepy man. So is there going to be like a, a scripted sequence where he jumps on top of me, gets right in my face, and then I knock him off and he runs off, and then the combat starts? Or is it going to play it again straight up stealth? This music reminds me of a specific bit from Ghostbusters. When, wait, or, uh, when Peter shows up at Sigourney Weaver's house, and she's already possessed by uh, the gatekeeper. debating whether or not to take that flower with me. Eh, fuck it. Be there when I need it. Yeah, I see you there! Welcome site. Did I not have that one? Huh, thought I did. Combat or stealth? Move more silently while using focus. Reduces the range of the sounds you generate, including those produced on noisy surfaces. You know what? I already have the stun ability, so I think I'm going to go with stealth. Upgrade unlocked stealth. That does seem silly for a stealth game. Oh. You went down there. Well, honestly, I'd rather not mess with that guy. He clearly has enough problems of his own. I'll be very happy if we can just leave each other the fuck alone. Prison rules. Do not approach patients. Do not speak to patients. Disregard all claims of sanity. Patients are restrained for their own protection. Was Aaron really held down here? I should check all the cells. No shit, Sherlock. Upstairs, uh, I found a book hidden inside a locked cabinet, and I meant to make a joke about, uh, they locked up knowledge. What? Oh. But, uh, at the moment, at the time, I was too tense, and then something happened, and... Report aggression. 1015 and RY 841. Nope. 
I have noticed that patient number 11 exhibits increased aggression and agitation when patient 18 is being wheeled, uh, patient number 18 is being wheeled past his room. His attempts to touch her never get far, but his struggles are violent enough that today he pulled one of the anchor hooks from the ceiling of his cell. This will require further study. Dr. Huntfield. Isn't it weird that some of the patients have nicknames and some of them have numbers? I mean, I kind of dig the idea that some of them are you know, just referring to your patients with, like, dehumanizing nicknames. You know, the Watchman, the Archivist, the, uh, whatever. But, uh... You know, if you're gonna go that way, do it with all of them or none of them. Apparently, with uh, the keyboard and mouse controls, you have to reach or move the mouse around. And, uh, well, you don't right-click, that's for sure. Left-clicking didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, it's not left-click. Hey, what? I just want to know what it is. Oh, E again. Okay. It's a little bit awkward. Why isn't the thing at the bottom going away? I'm using the controller now. I just wanted to know. Hmm. I find myself worried that... Uh... I'm going to end up having to kill some of those monster men. Invincible. Well, at least they can't be knocked out. I fear that I totally can kill them, is the problem. I'm afraid that if I turned on focus vision, they would see me. They're clearly affected by whatever the primal energy is. I bet they see things in focus vision all the time. see me now, that's important. Light them up and run. Suggest me the fire arrows won't actually kill them. No takedown, either. Come on, friend, you're stuck on the damn...
See if I can slip past him, and if I can, I guess I'll throw a throwable over there. Get him unstuck. Ah, oh, shit. It's a dead end. Shit. Where am I going? The opposite side is the entrance. Great. Oops. Never mind that. Just a seam in the world. Perfectly ordinary. Hang on. Sorry about that. Frustrating. I've seen my share of prisons in the city. Nothing like this. Where will he run from the light? There's so many of them. Before he was the witch, the witch taker, the uh, beef taker general. He experimented on uh, prisoners using primal energy. He turned them into these things.
And the reason they would have gone after, uh, or been drawn towards, uh, Erin is because they could sense that she was somehow the embodiment of, uh, primal energy. I bet the primal energy has something to do with the gloom, too. I assumed that, uh, the ritual worked, and that the gloom was a side effect. You know, it's like, oh, it's a ritual that will give the Northcrest, uh, barony, I guess is the term for the administration, uh, untold power in the history of the city. But, uh, it makes everyone sick as a side effect. And that, uh, you know, Aaron and, uh, to a much lesser extent, Garrett being touched by the, by the primal is, uh, a much, as another side effect. I want to go over there. It's the guy that's stuck in the wall. But, uh, it seems like the ritual failed. And that's why, uh... Why, uh... The gloom is all over the city. But I can't see because they're searching for me. But uh Yeah. I'm Burning Dog Face and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Thief. When I uh try to make my way past these things without killing any of them. Oh, And, uh... Can't get back through. There was a flower on the other side. Whatever. I'm gonna use that one more. And the last time I found one. See you next time when we look into the next step of Aaron's story. Later.